designed with pillows and rugs, but it takes on a new dimension when you think about other elements in your home. Here to show us, designer Avisa Majtahedi is here. Now she has, yeah, give her some love! <laughs> You have an architectural background and you've worked with the Property Brothers. They're super popular have, around here. Yes. We love have the, having them here. You were the, you've been their art director. You've been their project manager. You've mm -hmm. worked in design for 20 years. You run yeah. a design build practice. Yes. So you've, you know, you've run the gamut. Coming from the architectural side and the design side, I think it's a lovely mix. What'd Absolutely. What did you do with Scott and Jonathan anyways? As project manager, what were you uh, responsible um, so for? So I was lucky enough to go to Vegas um, for about three months. Drew and, and Jonathan, not Scott and Jonathan. Yes. Drew and Jonathan's guy. Um, and I was their PM, so basically driving to the construction sites, managing the contractors, um, working with the designers, uh, giving a little bit of my tidbits as well, but always working with Jonathan and making sure that the sites were just like under control yeah. and looking amazing. And yep. dealing with their crazy personalities. Hello. Yeah. They're, they're so fun. They're so fun and funny. Yes. Like just like I'd always have to kind of hold my giggle. Yeah. Um, but they were really great to work with. Lovely. Well, we have some gorgeous pictures to show that are right. really going to emphasize this mix when it comes yes. to layering and including architecture because as I mentioned in the intro, a lot of people think layering is what? Uh, typically just rugs and pillows, right. which is totally great. Yeah. Um, but given my background, I really like to approach it with an architectural eye. Um, it's really important to incorporate your walls and your ceilings in design as well. Yeah. If we could show the, the ceiling, we'd have crown molding or ceiling panels. Um, but millwork and um, just uh, trim on the walls as well is really important. So let's look at this first picture and it just looks lush. This is what you get when you layer your design and your architecture. So in terms of the architectural elements, what would you draw out of this? For sure, this project was really uh, special to me. The windows and the landscape were what initially really captured my attention. Mm -hmm. um, that alone acts as a beautiful backdrop and as an additional layer to the space. Yeah. And then I was able to create the decor and just the color scheme within as well. Beautiful. In the next picture, you'll see like there's beautiful shelving, but right through it, you're looking at a staircase. Yeah, this was fun. Um, I chose to open up the wall to really to join the dining space and the, the stairwell in the hallway together, mm -hmm. and also have the stairwell as an architectural element in a backdrop to the dining room. Lovely. So just kind of a really, and, and it really opened up the space as well. It just made it feel a lot bigger. Absolutely. Um, and the bookshelf was really fun to kind of display your books and little trinket, trinkets. And if you have a little troll doll, you might as well put it up there too. Yeah. So. But just add it so that like everything is not on the shelves. Yes. Just, just right. what you want, right. right? Don't go crazy with it. Yeah. This is nice drama in this space. Um, and what's happening here that is working all together to layer Yeah, so this is to show that you can also do layering where it's not so bold and kind of out there. Um, this was a full gut reno, and I chose to show layering with the finishes and the details. So the hardwood floor with the, uh, the wooden shelf against the beadboard. So just a very subtle um, aesthetic, but the textures add that layer. Very nice. So there's a few different ways you might want to think about layering your space. And yes. you've done two different versions of a beautifully layered Thank you. room. The first one is monochromatic, and it is gorgeous. Yes. Let's talk about the space. For sure. Um, so the space is, there's still stuff going on, but the colors are within the same color scheme. Yeah. Um, this large poof from CB2, I love how the texture really complements the texture of the rugs. Yes. Uh, we do have our layered rugs as well. Um, I chose this coffee table from Ikea. The high gloss, I love the finish of that and how it just kind of balances out the matte finishes of the accessories. Mm -hmm. um, it has really great storage as well. I love this clock on the coffee table, a bit unexpected as an accessory, but it's kind of art as well, so that would be kind of a fun uh, way to dress up your coffee table. Yes, and all the children can learn that time yes. we used to see that from a clock. <laughs> right. Look at that, kids. That's how we told the time That's back right. in the day. It's kind of nice to use those or to have those in the house so you're for not sure. dependent on the microwave for your cell phone. <laughs> it's um, lovely. And it's fun to also play with scale and, and layering on a coffee table yes. to, so it doesn't feel so flat and boring and it's not just a cup of coffee. That's right, yeah. Yes. So all the different levels are beautiful. There's something like just so appealing about the chunky knits on that gorgeous chair. I don't know what fabric uh, those chairs are made of, but they look they look luscious. They're so great. Are These, they denim or are they, what are um, they? It's actually a cotton, but it does look like a denim, kind mm -hmm. of a tie dye, which is very fashionable these days. Yeah. Um, these chairs are from Home Sense and they're super comfy. Oh, love them. Um, and then I just kind of paired it with a monotone, uh, 
pillow, but just a little bit of a little oomph with our cheetah print here. That's right. Um, and as we go onto the wall, uh, we have a great piece of art as well. And then why not pair it with a small ledge uh, from Bed Bath and Beyond, and then small little plants, and you have your whole space. So would you say when it comes to layering your design, is it going to be easier to deal with a monochromatic space? Um, or monochromatic theme? It's definitely a more simple way to do it because I think the key is to pick a color that you love yeah. and stay within that range and then just layer your textures. Right. Um, whereas our bold and beautiful setting here. Let's talk about this gorgeous yes. space. Um, so if you want to come over a little bit course, closer, yes. there is a lot going on and it just... It adds a warmth to the space, I yes. think, to have all of these elements working in conjunction. Walk us through it. Absolutely. So I've started with uh, this antique rug uh, for my collection, and I love how it really anchors everything and pulls all the colors um, into our space. Yeah. I've, I've paired it with a, a vintage ottoman that's been recovered in a Kaleem rug. Nice. And then we have a really cute little pillow on top with another Kaleem accent, which also goes to show that you can layer with just a textile rather than layering with furniture pieces. That's right. So if there's a fabric you love, just put it on everything and you'll be fine. Yeah, you will. Uh, beautiful tables, like do these all come as a set? Because they're all so different. Yeah, they're really great. They're from HomeSense. Um, it's a nesting concept. The two mm. come together and that was separate. Nice. I just kind of paired them together. Them to and I love the gloss against the matte and the gold. So yeah. again, just a nice yeah. contrast. Um, and then these chairs from Home Société, Home the matte leather, is just so fabulous. It is. Uh, and the style is very sculptural as well, so you can even leave also on, the, on their own, no pillow mm -hmm. needed. Um, however, I have placed one there. They're like pieces of art in their own they right. They really are, yes. Um, they are. Gorgeous piece with the with the beautiful little uh, the beautiful shelf that's holding the art is really nice as well. Yeah. It is really on but I love what's going on yes. and you just you deal with it and it's sort of like an outfit that you've got a little high a little low right. what I like is that this looks very luxe it looks very rich and yet you've shopped at places like Amazon right for so sure. I think that's phenomenal that you can do this and this is just oh, a showstopper I'm like obsessed. so good obsessed that's very from nice. um, Home Society as well by oh, Cartel that's great Avisa thank you so much thank you.